For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Death is sure. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Bikers are more prone to death on two wheels. And you need the same Savior and God's willing to reach out to the bike to save your soul as anybody else. The Bible proclaims to go in all the world and preach the gospel. Wisdom cries out in concourse. And to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Salvation can be only wrought through God. For the wages of sin is death. We're all going to die for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We're all sinners. All sexes, all kinds, all groups of people are sinners before God. And God sent forth His Son, Jesus, no man who was good. made from no the virgin. Only God, only Jesus. Born of the Virgin of the tribe of Judah, who is God. And that is the only way you have access to the Father. For Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And you ain't going to come to God being a good person, for the Bible says there is none that doeth good. There is none righteous. No, not one. And you're in need of a Savior as much as anybody has in need of a Savior. And God's able to save your soul from hell. And there is a hell. Jesus spoke about hell. Jesus came that man may get out of hell. The world will tell you to go to hell, and we stand here preaching how you may not go to hell, and believe it on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. It's that simple. Salvation is of God, and Jesus is God, and he will save your soul if you repent of your sins, if you put your trust all in Jesus. For by grace are you saved through faith. It is not of yourself, least any man should boast. You're not going to come to God with bragging rights. You're not going to come to God and say, God, look how great I am. No, the great I am is Jehovah. The great God I am is Jesus Christ. And he's able and will save your soul. No greater time is to have a bunch of bikers gather together and have the gospel be preached. No greater time for you to come and put your faith in the finished work of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, go eat all the world and preach the gospel. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day, according to the scriptures. That is the way to save your soul. And your soul needs to be saved. And hell is not a place of a party. You will burn for all eternity in the flames of hell if you don't repent and put your faith and trust in Jesus. Nothing else will get you to the Father. Religion can't do it. Good works can't get you there. Baptism can't get you there. Only by Jesus Christ are you able and can be saved of your sins. The Bible says, the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. You have a terminal condition called sin. That sin will bring you to the grave and that sin will bring you to hell. 
unless you repent and put your full faith and trust in the finished work of Jesus Christ and no other. The Pope can't save you. Allah can't save you. Only by Jesus Christ are you able to be saved. Only by Jesus Christ can you get to heaven. The Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. The Bible says that Jesus said, He is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. It's that clean and simple. No Jesus, no eternal life. John said, He that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. It's that simple. Jesus saved. Only Jesus saves. Jesus is able and Jesus will save your soul if you repent of your sin and put full trust in what Jesus Christ has done and not what you have done and what you can do. Because what you can do and what you have done is not acceptable to God. The finished work of Jesus Christ is God approved. Religion is man-made by the devil. You will not get to the Father, you will not get to heaven without Jesus. The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, your faith and trust in Jesus alone can save your soul. There is nothing else that can save you. There is nothing else of the blessed hope, of the glorious hope, but Jesus Christ. You have the acceptance of God through Jesus. And that's it. There is nothing else that will get you out of hell but the finish in the blood of Jesus. And without Jesus, you will go into hell and there is no party in hell. Alcohol burns with fire. Hell is a place of darkness. You won't recognize those friends. Hell is a place of torment. It ain't a place of pleasure. That our Lord God and Savior was torched and suffered and died according to the scripture that you believe and you will have faith. And without Jesus Christ, without faith, without repentance, there is no salvation. There is no entrance into God's heaven unless you repent of your sins and put your trust and your finished work upon Jesus, the finished work. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again for us, for all of us, for us sinners. Though we reject him, though his name is taken in vain, he still suffered and died. He was buried and arose the third day that we might be saved. That the glory of God for you to put all in all in Jesus, who is all in all. There is no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. The satisfaction of God is Jesus Christ. The salvation of man is Jesus Christ. The glory and the righteousness that we need is of Jesus. There is a hell, and you will burn in hell with your sins, if you do not place them on the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Salvation is pure and simple. It is Jesus Christ, or it is hell. There is no other means, there is no other back door, there is no purgatory, it is heaven or hell, and hell is by 
by rejecting Jesus Christ. Heaven is by receiving Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. And I've been doing this. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Jesus is a holy and righteous. He is God. He is the Son of God. He is sent forth to be our propitiation. He is sent forth to be our mediator. He is sent forth to be our advocate. If you put your faith and trust and your belief upon Jesus, God, but the suffering and the death of Jesus according to the scriptures, and the burial of Jesus, and the resurrection of Jesus. There is no other hope but the blessed hope of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus. salvation to get to heaven has been done through Jesus and Jesus alone. Your entrance into heaven is not I hope so, maybe, but the Bible says these things that I have written unto you that you may know you have eternal life. And that eternal life is set in the Son of God through Jesus Christ. And nobody and nothing else. Without Jesus, it's the wrath of God. With Jesus, it's eternal life. It's your choice. You can be in the presence of God and His holy angels. Or you can be in the presence of Satan and his unholy angels. You can go with the masses that go the Broadway. Or you can go to the straight gate that leadeth to life. And that life is in Jesus. And without Jesus, you have no hope. You will die in your sins and you will go to hell. And you will burn for all eternity in a place called hell. And you need not to burn in hell. You need, must be born again. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. There is no other offer that God approves of but the blood of His Son. And the Bible says that that blood of Jesus is the blood of God. Satisfaction for God is the finished work of Jesus. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. That life is in the Son. That life, the eternal life to go to heaven, is in Jesus. And Jesus is able to save your soul now. You come to Jesus as who you are, a sinner. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Taking one thing that's not yours, you are a sinner. Telling one lie. You stand before God as a sinner. One dishonor of your parents, and that makes you a sinner. Not putting God first in your life. You're a sinner. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And you need the Lamb of God, Amen. which take away the sin of the world. Got it, bro. No lamb, 
and you die in your sin. And when you die in your sins, you will be in hell. Jesus said, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity, I never knew you. And if God doesn't know you through Jesus, you are going to hell forever. You can pay for your own sins by burning in hell for all eternity. That's how you pay for your sins. You can have God pay for your sins by suffering and dying upon that Calvary's cross according to the scriptures and being buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That's God paying for sin. That's the gift of God. Whosoever believeth in Jesus shall be saved. Whosoever is not found in the Lamb's Book of Life was cast into hell forever. Reservations to heaven is through the Book of Life. The Lamb's Book of Life. It's the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. You have a sin condition. that sin condition by you putting your faith and trust in Jesus and Jesus alone 